Hey guys, it's Marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Today I've got this cute little box. It's like a matchbox. It's got a little drawer that slides out from either side and it's perfectly sized for these Milano cookies. I get these individually wrapped ones at my Costco. I think it's a little tub of them and there's 30 cookies and an awesome plastic reusable tub. We're going to do our color combo challenge from the Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. So Thursday, I posted this color combination challenge, Bermuda Bay, Blushing Bride, and Crumb Cake. And today, I am doing the challenge with some fun new 2022-2023 uh, product sneak pinks. All right, let's get started. This is our box template. There'll be a picture of the template on the project sheet on the blog. You need two pieces of cardstock. I'm using Crumb Cake. Why? Because we're doing the color combination challenge. That's why. And it looks nice and beachy to go with our um, little bus with the surfboard on top. So I've got one piece that's four and seven sixteenths by six and seven sixteenths. That is one sixteenth smaller on both directions than the half inch. So if you go four and a half inches and back it up one sixteenth and then six and a half inches and back it up one sixteenth, that's the easiest way to get those sixteenth measurements. Our wrapper is four inches by seven and three quarters. Let's pop those two pieces onto the Simply Scored and give them some scoring. Our wrapper goes in on the seven and three quarter inch side and we are going to score at two, four, five and a quarter, and seven and a quarter. And then our box, the little drawer, we're gonna score on all four sides at one and a quarter. That sixteenth of an inch gives you just a little bit shorter so that it fits in the wrapper. And you don't have to do sixteenth of an inch scores. You can score on the quarter or the, the quarters, the eighths, the halves. Those are much easier than sixteenths. All right, so we're gonna work these scores with our bone folder and trim according to the template. All right, let's do the box base first. We're going to start this by cutting the squares at a nice half. So we're gonna just slice in half, stop at the intersecting score. We'll go ahead and do that all the way around. You can just eyeball half, that's okay. Then we're gonna cut down that intersecting score to the next intersecting score the other way. Take an angle cut and pull these out. And we're gonna angle the tab. We'll do that on all four corners. All right, there's our glue tabs. Now we need our little thumb notches so we can have a little pull for our drawer, make it a little easier to get that out. You'll grab your grid paper, Stampin' Up! grid paper, or bring your Simply Score tool back in. There's a centering ruler right across the top of this tool. It starts at six. You're gonna use this top ruler, which is zero at the center, and you're going to find the center of this tab, which is just about an eighth inch between the one. So not quite one, about seven eighths, seven eighths. See how it lines up on the second ruler? And then just mark zero. You can do that before you cut out the tabs too. Either way, you just wanna find that center and mark it. And then we're gonna cut those little thumb notches with a half inch circle punch. I'm using my retired Stampin' Up! half inch circle punch. Of course, you could use a different size circle. You could use a small little die and just run it through whatever you've got. Sometimes I've seen people use a little heart punch and just use one of the little loops at the top of a heart to punch out those thumb notches. Let's go ahead and assemble this with tear and tape. I'm gonna put some adhesive right on each of these glue tabs. You could use liquid glue here if you wanted to take the time to hold the tabs until they grab, but I'm gonna use a little more instant gratification and use my tear and tape. And I'm using two strips just to keep it stable because you're gonna pull from that end of the box to get your treat out. And so I think it's worth just a little bit of extra adhesive here. We'll remove the liner from all four tabs. All right, they're all peeled. Let's get rid of these tabs. And we'll fold up. 
make nice square corners and you see why we cut those tabs in half now they, they stop before the little thumb notch and don't show all right there's the base of our box let's work on our wrapper next our wrapper needs some designer series paper so we're going to start with this wrapper with the half inch at the top and we've got three pieces of designer series paper here these are from the artfully composed designer series paper from the january june catalog they're all three and seven eighths this is three and seven eighths by one and seven eighths three and seven eighths by one and an eighth we've got two pieces that size let's adhere these down we're going to skip the half inch panel and then glue our largest piece in that next segment then we'll take one of the smaller pieces and glue it down in the next segment just center it right between the score lines and then right to left all right once you've got that you can turn it over and burnish it now we've got the half inch at the bottom we're going to glue this other one and one eighth by three and seven eighths inch piece to the back side And you want this to have equal top, right, and left borders. And we're going to go back to the side with the two panels and add our tear and tape adhesive on this one and half inch glue tab. You want that a little bit closer to the fold than to the edge. Remove the liner, and you're going to fold at that first score line and the third score line and then burnish and there is your wrapper for your little drawer isn't that great let's do some stamping next i've got some basic white cardstock here ink pads are early espresso in bermuda bay and they've got a stamp here together for the long haul from a brand new stamp set it's called He's All That, and it's got awesome masculine themes. Lots of different things to choose from. Father's Day, Hello Handsome, Love This Guy, Happy Birthday, um, Together for the Long Haul, so think anniversaries, congratulations, holy smokes, you're amazing. It goes from barbecue to navigation. This could be nautical or camping kind of a theme. What's your guy into and what guy is it? We've got hammers and wrenches and classic cars and little mustaches. It's a really good multi-themed masculine set and I really love it. We're gonna also use the love this guy arrow. We're gonna do Bermuda Bay on basic white. Now, the He's All That stamp set is a really good masculine, um, multi-theme stamp set, but it has this amazing die set called All That Dies. It's got these curved banners, this rounded rectangle with the embossed edge, oval with an embossed edge, and then the dies that we're using today. This great big bottle cap looking die and the arrow. We're gonna cut those out. We're also gonna cut these um, not curved banners. We're gonna do Bermuda Bay. We're gonna do this fun label from Blushing Bride. And I have three pieces of brushed metallic cardstock here with the Stampin' Up adhesive sheets on the back. So Stampin' Up's got these adhesive sheets. They are, um, 12 in a package they're 6 by 12 inches I keep all of my scraps we put a little scrap of that adhesive on the back of the bronze cardstock we're going to cut those with these argyle dies from the all that die set so the all that die set of course when you you when you buy it with the he's all that stamp set you can bundle up and save 10 percent but if you're not into the masculine themes and then he's all that stamp set don't get bundled but also don't miss the all that dies now this is going to require two passes through my machine because i need three of these little argyle and there's only two in the die set so i'm going to go ahead and run these 
and a couple other things at one time. And then we'll do a second pass and I'll meet you back here. All right, I'm setting up for my second pass here. On the second pass, I'm gonna do one of my Argyle and I'm going to cut out the images that we stamped using the coordinating dies. I love how these just cut out the stamped images, but they're the perfect shapes to use with other stamps in your collection. They don't have to just cut out these images. They're not bubbles. They're not um, shapeless form, or yeah, I guess shapeless forms. You can use them for so many things and they'll mix and match and play nicely with all the stamps that you already have. The greetings and the images. Let's give these guys a crank. Here's our arrow and there's our van. Let's get this out of the way. Here's our bits, got a couple of banners, our van, a couple of argyle pieces, and because of that adhesive back, they're all sticky, you just peel and stick. And let's, speaking of, let's get our wrapper back in here. And we're gonna adhere one of these up against the top fold, one against the bottom fold, burnish that down. And then we're gonna take the third one and we're going to cut it in half. This is just the coolest shape. Whoever thought of this is brilliant. This is a die I'll never give up. Just adds so much interest to the background. We're gonna take half and put it right along the edge of our designer series paper there. Pretty cool, huh? We can save the other half for another project. Let's slide aside all these bits for just a minute because we have to color our little van and we're just gonna keep the color combination going here i've got some bermuda bay some smoky slate and a light calypso coral i'm gonna use a light calypso coral on the surfboard so skinny just swipe a little line <laughs> then our little bus will color that one bermuda bay but leave a white stripe i thought that was kind of kind of cool It's a very small little area, so there's not a lot of need for shadowing. I'm just gonna go down the back of the bus and then over the fenders and then up at the front of the bus, a little bit at the back of the bus here and across the top. Then where those two shades come together, I'll just dab with the light Bermuda Bay. And there it is. There's our bus, let's color the tires. I'm gonna do a light smoky slate just on the sidewall of the tire there and then i'll do a dark smoky slate shadow like where the vehicle might cast it over the top of the wheel there very cool stuff i'm gonna bring in some mini dimensionals and we'll dimensional this fun bottle cap shape now imagine you have anything stamped on there any stamp in your whole entire collection cut out with that fun bottle cap edge it's got a gorgeous embossed circle and the cute bottle cup ed cap edge and then this beautiful label look at the embossed edge around that label we're going to stack those two got to make sure our van is riding level though this isn't an uphill or a downhill project I think that's pretty good. Then we'll take those two banner dies that we cut. These would be fun as little flags on any project. You can cut them in multiple colors and put it across your, um, your card or your scrapbook page. Really, really versatile shape. We're gonna add a drop of glue on each end. And then we're gonna just pick those up on the back of our label. Look at what a cool stack this die set makes. And our little van is perfect. It was made for that bottle cap circle, but any image here on this stack would be pretty cool. So be sure to check out the All That Dies just as a die set. It doesn't have to be bundled. I've got kind of a 
beachy theme going on with the van with the surfboard on top. So I'm grabbing my frayed ribbon. This is three quarter inch. And what I like to do with it is cut it in half, hot dog wise. So make it a little bit more narrow and then pull these little strings to fray the cut edge. So now both edges of the ribbon have that fun fray. We're gonna need about maybe four, three quarters inch of this frayed ribbon. Kind of going back to our crumb cake color combo. Oh, I lost a, I lost a banner on my label. Let me put that aside and let it dry for a second. I'm going to loop the twine about two inches, maybe inch and a half from the edge and tie the twine to the ribbon. And then I'm gonna make a big loopy bow. I love the natural fiber with the frayed edge. I think it underscores this kind of beachy feel we've got going on here. And we can cut that away from the spool. I'm gonna add that to my box. Now you can either put the adhesive on the back of the ribbon, that's what I usually do, or you could just put a little bit, if it's too wily for you, if you're having a dexterity issue, put it on the box. It's okay. And then you can bring the ribbon to the adhesive instead of making the ribbon sticky and sticking it to the box. So you've got that little strip of adhesive you can put in the ribbon right in. Don't glue your tails or your loops down under the ribbon. And there it is. Pretty cool. Let's get that drawer and put it in there. And we can cut the ends with a pretty angle. And our together for the long haul. Let's add some dimensionals to the back of that. I love to double dimensionals on treats. And I'm going to use my dimensionals to also further secure my layers together. See, put them right on the edge and that'll give them even more stability. Put that right to the top of the box with the bow peeking out from under the tail there. Still want a nice level ride, not uphill or downhill. Pretty cool. If your ribbon is a little bit too big, you can adjust now. Pull the loops a little bit smaller. It's going to peek out from behind the banner, and then you can trim the tails a little bit if you need to. Now we're going to embellish with a couple of special pieces. I've got some rustic metallic adhesive dots here. These are brand new coming in the new 2022-2023 catalog. I love these guys. And then we have our love this guy arrow. Let's go ahead and put dimensional on the back. I'm using half minis and I'm going to put three across the back there. I think everything on a treat package should be bumped up, don't you? Gonna add love this guy right on the back. I love the little background here. Our final touch here are these rustic metallic adhesive dots. Love them. We're gonna add one to the pink label, one to the blue banner, and there is our together for the long haul treat box. Isn't that so much fun? slide out got our milano cookie treat if you find anything else that fits we love to know check out the kitchen table stamper craft social the link is below that's where you'll find our color inspiration challenges and where you can share your stampin up creations made with bermuda bay blushing bride and crumb cake all right guys if there's anything i can do to help you stay crafty email marissa at kitchen table stamper.com and to shop Stampin' Up 24-7, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.